our stitching kingdom and welcome back it is Tuesday on um, August 11th welcome to August I'm just doing a quick update we've got some haul um, just a couple of projects I've worked on this week um, because right now semi so scene stitchers is ruling my life they are a closed group right now um, I'll still put their link below um, they may or may not be opening soon I don't know I'm not on in that inner circle so I can't tell you yes or no but I will um, always leave group links to the groups below just in case they do open up but don't be like messaging them and saying hey are you open hey are you open I'll just you know just that information um, um, welcome back to um, all my old friends all my um, returning friends returning viewers and subscribers and welcome to any new uh, new subscribers, new friends, uh, talk about cross stitch, a little bit of life, and that's about it. I've got my fan going, it's a little warm down here today. So we will start with what I've been working on. Right now in Semi Sane we have the Choose My Whip and the Needle Worker Sweep. And in July we had to choose, it's ba and Needle Worker Sweep um, was <laughs> an idea that Virtual Stitchers <laughs> stitchers came up with um vicky reading and stitching um was like remember supermarkets we, we should do something like that and so we all kind of put together um some ideas of what would be a fun game and um somebody <laughs> gable said that we should only do one whip so you can only work on one whip and then um Vicky reading and stitching pitched it to Kate to Lucy and Casey over at um the semi so sane girls and um they were like yes and so here's August and now we have our game so in July they posted five different options you could do Chatelaine you could do um Mirabilia you could do Shannon Christine do Tempting Tangles or you could do Glendon Place and um I want to say Mirabilia is the least expensive um, and Chatelaine obviously was the most expensive, um, but we didn't know that until we wouldn't know the cost of stitches for to kit up our project um, until the 1st of August, which is when they announced the stitch counts. And they announced the stitch counts, and you couldn't change after they announced the stitch counts. You had to choose before, and if you were just joining, you automatically had number five. You had the Chatelaine, and it was 31,500 stitches. And so they like divided it up, like you had to stitch the chart, and then you had to stitch for some threads. Like for example, the Chatelaine had Gloriana and MPI and Silken Colors and Water Lilies and Beads. And then you had to stitch for the linen as well, and so it would give you a total. But the 10th like, rolled around, Lucy did tell us, that on the tent there would be a surprise, a twist, and um, most people had stitches added. The Chatelaine people, we got a 50% off coupon, and so my 31,000 stitches got reduced to, to 15,750 stitches, which is much more doable. Um, and I've actually gotten, um, let's see here, 38 plus 540, 660 so let me do some quick math hang on one second because I had completed the 3800 for my chart um, before and 540 for the beads before they announced the half off coupon so I already had 4340 stitches in my piece that I'm choosing and then I also have 660 so I have 5,000 stitches in this piece already which is super awesome. I have a page finish and that piece that I've chosen for a needle worker sweep is my Eagle by Sue Coleman. And I have a page finish so I've moved on. I actually gridded the bottom part um, so that and it fits in my 8x8 Q-snap. It's like all the things are coming together even though this was a problem child. So and here it is. Oops my Q-snap is falling but here is my eagle and you can see I've got most of the tail done on the bottom here I just have to fill in the white that is the white feathers at the bottom and then I have to fill in 
a lot of the background is half stitches and or one stitch um, one strand over two so I'm pretty pleased with that I'm super excited I'm hoping to have a finish by the end of this month and thanks to you know it was it was kind of funny because I was like I'm never gonna finish this thing it's such a pain blah 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 and then needleworker sweep happened and also I use this in my bingo for whip for um for semi-sane or my uno sorry my uno stitches um for semi-sane so I have to thank semi-sane for getting me through this time <laughs> with my problem child. So I'm super excited, but this is all I have left to do. Fits right in that Q-snap right there. And then, like I said, this is the white and gray of the tail. Um, I've got, and then just the outline is gonna be rocks. And then up here is some more of the cliff. So I'm actually using this um, for Magical Stitches um, homework this week because I have to do a thousand stitches on something with a rock. So I can do that. And then my choose my whip I've put up last couple times is um, one was Daisy and Lyrical, Lyrical one last week, and then it was my Eagle and Lyrical and Lyrical one again. So I should do 500 stitches on her. So here we are. And this is from the five, including the 500 stitches from last week. I actually had to frog out these three um, parts of her skirt because they were done funky. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this green. I'm gonna have to just wait and see. It's kind of interesting how it looks there, but we're good. So that's Lyrical by Nora Corbett. So those are basically my two focuses. Um, this month, I think, um, Lyrical is a present that I need to finish for um, my boss, so that would be why. Um, but yeah, that's all my stitching this week. And then, so we're going to go on to Happy Mail and Haul and all that good things. Um, I'm a member of the Great Biscorny Swap and my partner sent me, um, her gift and I will insert pictures of what I got, um, or what I sent to her. Um, but she did this little bee biscorny. I love those little Quaker flowers. And then, so there's a bee on the front and then a dragonfly on the back. For the button and I love this Ada it's so gorgeous and then I also got let's see here I also got some patterns too I don't know where they went oh I see them so we'll start with these little things first and then I got some DMC which is always helpful so some really good colors there some bobbins which are always helpful and then this beautiful pair of scissors and a scissor pop that she made. This cute little angel on the top. And these little milfoy hearts. And then the scissors are purple. So I'm excited to, to use those. Put these away. And then I also got in that package um cute little card it's got a, a bee on it and then i got a couple of little house this is horsing around farmhouse christmas all dot up all dolled up winter greens which is really cute and then grandpa's pickup from farmhouse christmas and little red barn also Farmhouse Christmas. And then she also included, let's see, this is 16 count antique white data, which you can never have too much of that. And then this is 22 count powder blue Ada, which is really pretty. I think actually that's what she did the this morning on. Where'd it go? Yes, it does look like that. So that's for my red biscorny swap. And then I need to remember to insert pictures Um, of what I sent them and then I also got 
um, on the Mira exchange or embellishment they had a Miss New Year's fairy so I can start that and finish it um, hopefully this year um, Laurel stitched and finished that and it's gorgeous and that's Laurel and then I also got the Easter fairy look at the little I just I thought that was really cute so I have I think I have all of them I don't have I stitched the Halloween one and so I don't need didn't need that one but I've got the Christmas Eve I've got the Easter I've got the Thanksgiving one um, and then I got yeah I think I have them all so and then I was lucky enough I I have a friend um, that's in the Under the Sea Fabrics Fabric of the Month it's a little crinkly um, but I saw this Melissius from that that was June's fabric of the month or July's fabric of the month and I just had to have it I was like oh man I wish I was in it and then so my friend messaged me she's like you know I can order you a piece and so I had her order me a piece but it's so pretty and it goes with gilded which was um which is funny that both mystic fabrics and Leslie under the sea fabrics did a kind of a goldish color for their fabric of the month last um last month and then, so I need to put that. That's fine. And then for just for Jack, August. Anyway, this is um, yeah, this is August's um, Mystic Fabric of the Month, and it's called Please Scream Inside Your Heart. This is really pretty purple. This is an opalescent. Um, this is a 28 count, but I love how that turned out. So that'll be really pretty for like a fairy or a mermaid. And then my Melissius is a 32 count Lugana, and it's just a nice little parchment. I mean, it's really pretty. It would be good for a sampler. It would be good for just a nice neutral. So you can't go wrong with a nice neutral. And then I got my order from Bush Mountain Stitchery in, um, which had some stuff I had ordered from... One thing I had ordered from... Um, just one of the sales that they were doing, and one was my a market... Um, order that they were just waiting on the fabric to be dyed and this is the timely trinkets and it's got a little octopus and it actually comes with everything it comes with the pattern it comes with the fabric it comes with the little box you put it in I'm trying not to show the pattern um, but yeah and it's got the little waves I thought that was really cute so that's a quick little stitch It'll be a fun little exchange piece and then I got my fabric for well-rounded so I can finally start my well-rounded. I'm super excited. Um, and it's by hands on design. I, I, put my, I think my pattern's in here. So, um, and these are all hand dyed by fab, hand dyed by Stephanie. So that's that one. I don't think she put the names on it. No. And this one, I love this one. Light's kind of blowing out my color. So that's kind of a, a purpley with some really good modeling and then I love this color right here it's kind of a bluish green and then this purple is you know life so got that and then um, my Leslie under the sea fabrics they do a stitching sirens retreat and I was gonna try to go um, but it got canceled and so she did end up doing a virtual one and you've probably seen this um, she sent the little kit that we would be stitching and it says which is in stitches and I got you know and it came with the spellbound Lugana or spellbound Lugana and then um, slate water lilies some purple to attach the chenille trim a cute little bat um, all the stuff to finish it there's fabric in here too so she sent that and then she sent a cute little needle minder Sammy showed hers and I was like oh I can't wait till I get mine come on focus little mermaid and she's like stitching I love it so I'm gonna add that and then she put a couple of stickers in and then I have a highlighter an orange pen and some cute little erasers that are probably gonna be stolen by my daughter so they had a little virtual retreat over the weekend um, I couldn't go. We were doing stuff with, we finally got a truck, so we were able to do stuff like dump runs and stuff like that. 
so that's what we spent that doing. But I also, from Leslie, I ordered Miss Moonflower. Uh, Miss Dancing Flower, sorry. And so she looks like that. And somebody said, hey, what fabric would she look good on? And she's like, as you wish. And so I ordered uh, 18 by 26 of that for her. So I basically got this all kitted up. I just need the DMC. And she doesn't have a ton of DMC. She has the water lilies and this is called Tequila Sunrise. And then I also got the beads. So I was really excited for the beads. So pretty. So she is on my list of things to start this year in September, of course. And then I also got from 123 Stitch, I got Miss Ladybug because I've seen Sammy working on her and she's just so cute. And she'd actually look really good on Melissius. Ooh, plans are plotting. And then also I got Elizabeth who's based on Elizabeth Taylor. And I think they're doing a stitch along with her um, later this month, I want to say. I can't remember. But, and then I also got the Halloween issue of Just Cross Stitch. I know a lot of people have done flip throughs of this already, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm just really, really excited to do the Autumn Lane one, which is the Pick Your Poison. And then there's a couple of cute ones in here that would be fun Biscornus. Um, the spool thing was really cute, but yeah, there's a lot of, that's all of them right there on the back. So I think that's it. I'm going to go get back to actually stitching on my husband and son's, their patches for Boy Scouts. I know they're supposed to do them, but they just, I don't want them stabbing themselves. So I'm sure you all know that. Um, but I'll let you guys go. It's a short one today. I hope you guys have a great week. I know a lot of people are starting back to school, um, whether virtually or in school. Just be safe, follow those precautions, wear a mask, do all those things, social distance. Um, let's just all be safe out there. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and we will talk to y'all later. Bye.